Ask me anything. We're looking for some baby eels. Have you seen them? Baby eels, huh? They sound tasty. But nah, I ain't seen them. You might want to talk to Bridget, the rainbow blanket octopus. She's got her tentacles into just about everything around here. Oh, where can we find her? She keeps a low profile, but uh, if you follow the current, you might get lucky. Now, about those fish biscuits. A deal's a deal. Thanks. <laughs> This time, luck was on our side, and we found the octopus. She was beautiful, with tentacles that seemed to go on forever. I could tell she was troubled, but Shellington's curiosity got the better of it. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Eddie the Albatross said you might have some information about some baby eels. Baby eels? No, I'm afraid not. But they sound awfully tasty. <laughs> That's what Eddie the Albatross said. If Eddie hasn't seen him, maybe you should ask Randy. Uh, Randy? He's a grey reef shark who hangs out in the coral reef. He has a nose for finding tasty morsels. Uh, oh. But all this talk of food has made me hungry. Let's grab a bite, shall we? <laughs> Some other time. <laughs> We're on a case. You brought back up. I'm out of here. <laughs> She's gone. But she left this behind. A clue, maybe? A clue, no. Fascinating, yes. Rainbow blanket octopuses shed their blanket when making a quick escape. <sighs> you need some shut eye, matey. You've been setting up dozens of those things all over the jungle. <sighs> Not just setting them up, Quasi. I gotta test him too. See? My critter recorders catch any noise from nearby critters. Record it and tell me the location. Well done, Tweak. Now I think you better get some rest. But I brought some kelp cakes to roast on the fire. Shut eye first. Your kelp cakes will still be here in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who's ready for roasted? Hey, what happened to our kelp cakes? The same thing that happened to the ashes from our campfire. They were plundered by a jungle ghost. Probably eaten up by a hungry critter. A critter who steals kelp cakes and ash? There's something more afoot here, matey. Better sound the octave alert. Quasi Tweak, report please. Looks like something raided our campsite and ate all our food. And the ashes from our campfire. Flappity flippers. What kind of creature eats ashes? A jungle ghost. I've never heard of a jungle ghost, Quasi. Nor have I heard of a creature that eats ashes. Either way, the jungle is no place to be without food. Hmm. Octo Agent Tracker is stationed near your location. I'll have him deliver fresh supplies. Octo Agent Tracker reporting with replacement supplies. Thanks, Tracker. I can't believe all our supplies went missing. I've been checking my critter recorders to see if they recorded any critters coming through camp, but not a peep. Won't do you any good. Jungle ghosts are as silent as a windless night. Legend has it that they raid shipwrecked pirate campsites in the night, and things start to go missing. And then the jungle ghost appears. That sneaky spirit will steal the spots right off a leopard. Uh, Quasi, you can't steal a leopard's spots. It says so right here. I downloaded the training manual onto my Octo Watch, so I don't have to flip through all the pages anymore. <gasps> my critter record is picking up a sound. I didn't hear anything. I told you, matey. That's because jungle ghosts are silent. 
It sure is a spooky looking night out there, Grandad. Hi, Quasi. A perfect night to be sailing the high seas in search of the legendary Mystery Island. Uh, Mystery Island? Uh, Mystery Island? According to pirate law, Mystery Island is like another world. Another world? You mean an island stranded in outer space where pirates go to dig up sparkly moon rocks? Oh, and I bet it's guarded by invisible aliens. The few poisonous red ooze that can melt anything in its palm! <coughs> Not sure about that part, Quasi. <coughs> what is it, Pete? <coughs> Rogue Way! Hang on, mateys! When the wave goes high, we go low! Are you sure about this, Grandad? As sure as a pirate can be, Quasi. So, pretty sure. You made this all right. Yeah. Oh, another way! <laughs> Pete, the windshield. Brace for impact! Oh, you're awake. I usually prefer my meals a little less lively. Oh. Guess I'll just have to crack open this egg I found. <gasps> well, in all my years sailing the seven seas, I've never seen a bird use sticks and stones as tools before. <gasps> oh, that's nothing for an Egyptian vulture like me. Watch, I'll have this egg cracked open in no time. Uh, uh, maybe you'd like something tastier than an egg? <laughs> See? All it takes is the right tool. Wait, that's not my egg. Mmm, but it sure is tasty. Plenty more where that came from. We've got a whole stash on the gup R. Where is the gup R? That rogue wave must have washed her out to sea. You know what that means? No more yummy snacks for me. Worse, it means we're stranded. This place is full of strange alien trees and plants. Huh? And butterflies with eyes on their wings. Yow! And that tree's alive! They're just snails, Quasi. What if that rogue wave launched us clear into outer space and Mystery Island is actually on a whole other planet? Right now, the only mystery about this island is how we get off it. Ah! Now I just need something to write with, and we can send out a message in a bottle for help. Tunip! 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 What if that big scary thing got him? Tunip! <gasps> it looks like the Cherry Gub one crashed all right, but there's no sign of Tunip. All of this rain made a mudslide. So the Cherry Gub just slid to the bottom of this ditch. But where's Junip? Huh? Hold on. I hear something. It's coming from over there. I think it might be Tunip. Come on! Tunip! 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 There! <laughs> Looks like he got caught under some big rocks that came loose in that mudslide. Don't worry, Tunip. We're coming for you. We need to be careful, though, because this edge is unstable, and it's been raining a lot, and that means more... Oh! Well, that's one way to make an entrance. Is everyone okay? Fine! Yep, I'm okay. Let's get you out of there. <gasps> We're gonna need the Cherigub One's pincers to move those big rocks away. But first, we're gonna have to dig it out of the mud. Just a little more digging, and we should be able to get the tarag up moving again. What's that? I hope it's not that big, scary monster. Hang on. That's no monster. It's a giant pangolin. Sorry if I scared you. I'm just looking for some food. At this time of night, 
I'm nocturnal. That means I sleep during the day and I'm awake at night. I live underground. Hey, you're the one who woke me up today when you fell into my burrow. You gave me a bit of a scare. Sorry to drop in on you like that. I was dodging some lightning when I tumbled in by accident. What are you all doing out here in the middle of the night? Are you nocturnal too? Nope, but our friend is stuck. <laughs> I see. I can dig him out of there with these. Oh, you certainly have sharp claws. Yep, that's how I roll. Don't worry, little guy. I'll dig you out of here in no time. <laughs> Don't leave any paw prints in the sand. Of course not. Sand cats have special fur on our paws. It protects us from getting burned by the hot desert sand and from sinking down into it. See? No paw prints. Hmm. That little cat looks like a tasty treat. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like a sand viper. <gasps> Stay back, you scurvy snake. Or we'll... Will. <laughs> oh, you'll what? Watch out! He's venomous! Leave this to me! Pesky sand cat! Can't catch me! Yeah, well, I caught some of you! <laughs> Too slow again! These cats are too much work. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. How'd you do that? Fighting off vipers is just part of being a sand cat. Otherwise, those pesky snakes would get into all of my food hiding places. Cost me one of my whiskers, though. You may be a small cat, but you're as tough as any pirate. Thanks. And you guys are almost as tough as any sand cat. See? Here's your backpack. Ah, oh, my wee little kitten whiskers. They're still here. A deal's a deal. You found the perfect spot to bury me treasure. <laughs> Even I couldn't find it here. You know, Sandy, not all pirates have to sail the seas. Huh? Sandy the Sand Cat, as an honorary pirate, it is your sworn duty to protect this treasure. Ah, protect this treasure. In exchange for a regular delivery of fish biscuits, courtesy of the Octonauts. Your treasure will be safe with me, Calico Jack, because I'm keeping my treasure with it. Shiver me whiskers. Is that your whisker? The one you lost when you tussled with that sand viper. Yeah, it's a memento of our first pirate adventure together. And a priceless treasure indeed. Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.